Hey everyone, I'm here with a 2020 Audi A4 Premium Quattro. And today I just wanna do a little overview on how to reset the transmission and engine control modules on pretty much all of the drive-by wire throttle Audis and VW products from late 90s until now. It's actually a really simple process and I just wanna go over how that works. So we'll step inside the car in order to do this. Um, this will help resolve any shifting issues that you have, including, um, you know, issues when it comes to shift quality or stumbling at low speed. Um, so basically what you want to do, lock the doors here. So now that you're inside the vehicle, what you're going to do is you're going to turn on the ignition. You're not going to actually start the vehicle. You're just going to turn on the ignition. You don't have your you don't need to have your seatbelt on or anything and then you want to wait about 10 to 15 seconds for all like you know the lights to come off go off um, infotainment to start up kind of get all the everything warmed up and started and now what you're going to do is you're going to floor the accelerator all the way down to the detent which is the kick down switch and then you're going to hold that for about 15 to 30 seconds any time over 15 seconds is fine. I've heard 15 or 30 seconds online, so I'm gonna do 30 seconds just to be on the safe side. And basically after you hold this, it's uh, basically resetting the modules inside the transmission and the engine control module right now. Um, and this will not flood the engine because it is not opening up like the intake or any of the fuel lines or anything as part of this. So you don't have to worry about that. But basically, it's a quick system in order to fix any bugs that you have and drivability at low speed, especially if you have hesitation from the transmission. So I'll take my... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the ignition. And then I'm going to remove my foot from the accelerator. And now I'm going to wait for about three minutes. And after about three minutes, we're going to start it up. And then the transmission control and engine control modules will be reset. Right, we've now waited uh, three minutes, and the recommendation is just to wait a few minutes. Uh, three minutes is a few minutes to me. Uh, so now what we're going to do is just start up the vehicle, um, you know, without turning on the ignition first. Just press your foot on the brake and press the ignition. And then it'll restart, which is good. And now the engine control module and transmission control module have gone to their factory default settings. And now it'll do a relearn process on how you drive. So after you're, now that the, you've restarted the car, the modules are reset, now you just want to take it for a couple mile drive or at least, you know, 10 to 15 minutes um, and drive how you normally would and how you want the transmission to learn your driving behavior. So if you'd normally drive slow, drive slow. If you normally drive, you know, fairly aggressive, drive fairly aggressive. Um, that will keep the transmission and engine uh, control modules um, programmed to learn your driving style and it'll it'll drive the way that you want it to. So I'd highly recommend doing this before you're bringing this into a dealership or another service shop to get a transmission fix or you know if you have a weird idling issue with the with the engine or you know any hesitation at low speeds or shift quality problems that's what I would recommend doing. So I'll step outside the vehicle one more time. And it's a really hot day, so the fan's going with the AC on. So that's normal for the fan to be making that noise. So your car will probably do the same if it's hot outside, even after this module uh, update and reset. So I hope you guys learned something today, and this should take care of a few transmission issues if you have them. So I'd recommend trying this out before you go into the shop to have it looked at. Um, Again, uh, take a look at other videos online in addition to this reset because there's a few online that don't wait three minutes after you restart the car. Sometimes they just go straight from having the ignition on, taking your foot off the accelerator to restarting it right away. So if this doesn't fix your problems, try doing it that method next. And um, if you still have issues, that's when I would bring it in to be looked at by a professional technician. But try this first. So I hope you guys learned something today. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the section below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.